here I am again on the path of life and I'm just going to walk off a little bit into the borderlands. I was talking earlier about the time of the flowering of the acacia trees and similar to that, similar to what I'm seeing is this, this is unbelievable, I've never seen this anything like this before and all this, all these wild flowers and plants and herbs and grasses and especially the grass has all planted itself but it's part of a changing landscape, I'll try and it's all part of a changing landscape and that is that as the weather changes the plants adapt by they work together. I mean, these grasses are protecting the herbs. I used to be able to walk in here. I've always been able to walk in here and gather some wild herbs. And I wouldn't be doing it now because the grass is almost as tall as me. Not that I'm that short. I'm not a leprechaun, you know. But what I want to say is this. The the weather, it's not just the weather that's changing because weather are magnetic fields and I've recently come to the awareness or I've got this in my mind that from north to south it's a figure of eight atmospheres, okay, atmos to breathe sphere and there are two spheres, the north and the south and they're a figure of eight and they go around the whole globe and I don't know how many there, there are but let's just say there might be 12 or 24 and these are like the hemisphere regions the atmospheric and they're self-contained they're magnets right so they're a self-contained clima figure of eight north to south and they're rotating around the planet east to west or that they're being held in place by a magnetic field magnet to hold together and what I'm seeing happening is it potentially is a reversal a magnet reversal that is related to water to rain to storms to temperature and here at the moment, this is the 13th of May 2018 and in this area in Northern Europe the rain would be coming down now pretty heavy taking out the blossom, the flowering blossom of the acacias happens every year and I know that because I was saying oh you know okay because they're so beautiful and I love them so much and then those torrential rainstorms come and it, it drowns it all out, they all fall well not this year and so this year is maintaining a, pre a warm unseasonal for this part of the world Mediterranean climate and that is much less rain almost next to no rain these so-called clouds you see here were created by chemtrails they've been creating them for the past days they're not taking hold they're they're there right now but they're not taking hold and it's not raining and it's not changing the temperature either and that is because of the magnet atmosphere because down in the south the region that usually has this Mediterranean climate what is happening is they're having these rains these uh, colder temperature stormy the winds and the torrential rains and it's not just torrential rain for one day or maybe now and then it's every day mostly except they, they now have more rain than not but when they don't have the rain they'll still maybe have the cloud and it's a lot cooler and the coolness of the air is what used to be here in the north so the cooler, I want to talk about that next as it's a real phenomenon that's happening right under our noses and just some saying to all of you around the world just pay attention and these are my 
These are my Canopus in Argos archives. I'm doing this for Canopus. I'm making an archive of uh, the changing world. And so you can pay attention and observe the, the air and the atmosphere and the weather and how it changes. And you just observe it. And then eventually the brain on its own makes sense of it all. <laughs>